a one-on-one with Ursula Vernon. Hello, everyone. This is Ursula Vernon, and I am recording some answers for Crossings Con. So let's give it a go. Where should new readers start with your work? Uh, It really depends on what kind of my work you want to read. If you are interested in children's books, then I strongly suggest Castle Hangnail. If you would like to read books for adults with romance, fantasy, that kind of thing, Clockwork Boys under the name T. Kingfisher. And if you would like to read horror, The Twisted Ones, also under the name T. Kingfisher. Uh, It's really going to depend what you're in the mood for. If you could illustrate any book, what book would you want to illustrate? One with very few humans in it. Probably Watership Down. Uh, Humans are very hard to draw. And I love Watership Down. It's one of my very favorite books ever written. If you could grow anything in your garden, what would it be? I would like to grow a saguaro, or a bunch of saguaros. It's way too humid here, it'd never happen, but it would be so cool. They're such magnificent things, cacti, I, creatures, oh, yeah. What is the most tragic animal experience you've had in your garden? Are we trying to make people cry with this video? Is, is that what this is? Uh, Well, I had a box turtle come in once and I was very excited to see a box turtle. And I am very sad to say that the UPS guy was not as excited to see the box turtle and in fact did not see the box turtle on the road. And that was the end of the box turtle. It was extremely sad. Uh, This is, this is, this is tragic. I, I don't know why anyone wants to know that. There was also the time I planted castor beans and I got another box turtle in and I was like, hot damn, another box turtle. And then I found the box turtle near the castor beans that is a doornail. And castor beans are highly toxic. They're an ornamental. Honestly, one of the most malicious plants I've ever encountered. They just exude malice into the air. There's something really wrong with castor beans. It's what you uh, derive ricin from, incidentally. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel for guest interviews and more. And while you're at it, check out this playlist of all our interviews with our guests for 2021.